Old guy here. Today, we're gonna to be talking about AAA battery packs and 18650 lithium batteries and why these are better than these. So what we have here is typical flashlights that use three 18650 batteries, okay? Typical little loader takes three AAA batteries. Slide it in. And your battery and your flashlight works. Now you're wondering about the differences between this and this. These AAA batteries are wired up in series. They produce a voltage of between 3.7 and 4.2. Well, let's say 3.6 actually and 4.5, right? This 18650 battery produces between 3.7 and 4.2 volts. So they're in the same range together. Now, as you can see, they're pretty much the same length. So that's good. Now, the dip, one of the other differences is this, eight, six, this AAA battery only has between about 1,250 and 1,500 milliamp hours. The 18, this particular 18650 has 3,850 milliamp hours. So it'll last a lot longer. The batteries I use, this is a Panasonic Sanyo 18650 NCR 18650 GA. But since I already have them because I've been using them for a few years, um, these are Panasonic NCR 18650 PFs. Now, interesting note on this is these and a previous model with a PD were used in the early Teslas. Obviously, thousands of them. So, anyway, you just take this, you get one of these sleeves. Now, this is an adapter sleeve to use an 18650. So, it takes up pretty much the same space as this triple cartridge. You put it with this battery pack and you turn it on. Bingo. Now, of course, this is one of those flashlights where it takes 43 times to turn it off. Now, one thing you have to be aware of is not all batteries come with this size alkaline pack. Sometimes they're shorter. You can see how much shorter this one is. Well, this also causes a problem in that this will no longer fit with that because it's too short. You see how it is? It almost square with the end. You have, whoops, you have no way to compress that far enough for the threads to get there. So this will only work on the battery packs that are about the same length. So that's a no-go. The other thing you need to look out for is this particular flashlight has a spring at one end, so it's collapsible, and it has a spring at the other end. That allows any slack taken up or any tightness or looseness taken up by the springs. Sometimes you'll get a flashlight like this one here. It doesn't have a spring on the end. It just has this plate that accepts the, uh, the battery pack or the 18650. Now the other thing you have to watch out for when you're looking for a plate like this versus one with a spring, is that most 18650 batteries are pretty much flat topped. They don't have a little extension on it like this does. So what you need to do, if you have something like this, and you have this type of receiver in the front of your flashlight, this is a magnet. Now this one's a little bit thick, but it gives you the idea. 
If I was going to use one of these, I'd get a, uh, a magnet that was about six millimeters by two millimeters, which is about the same width, but shorter. So that's just a couple of things you have to watch out for. All right, but otherwise, this is the way to go. The other interesting thing is too, all these battery packs like this are for three batteries. Well, when you buy a AAA battery, they come in two packs or four packs. So one way or another, you always have one left over. What do you do with the extra battery? It's a waste. Now those four batteries are gonna cost you about the same amount of money as this 18650. Now this one, I've already taken out the 18, I mean the AAA batteries, and I've installed one of my PFs. It just replaced it. This originally came with AAAs. The other thing is too, I've noticed it's a lot brighter, it lasts forever, and it just works really well. You know, can't beat it. And now, obviously, if you're going to buy an 18650 lithium battery, you're going to need to charge it. Now, you can get a nice charger like this, Nikkor. Um, this is an older one, but it works pretty good. You just stick your 18650 lithium battery in it, and it works. Um, it'll read out on here when it's all charged up and everything else. In addition to charging up your batteries, you need to think about st proper storage. You do not want to carry one of these batteries in your pocket, especially if you're carrying around keys or something or anything else metal in your pocket change. This will short out. You can get a, you know, you can get your key holder up against both sides, a key at each end. I know it sounds strange, but it does happen. If you look at this short video, you'll see what happens when somebody has a lithium battery in their pocket and it goes off. You can see it's not very good. So storage. This here, this is how I store mine after I charge them. This is a lipstick stick holder. I got it at some garage sale. It was cheap. If you're gonna go somewhere and you wanna carry extra batteries, you get a battery case. You face them the same way. And it closes. Now you can carry it in your pocket. Or you can carry just one, it doesn't matter. Either way. So these are my thoughts. This is what I do for my flashlights and anything else that carries one of those triple packs for triple A's. You don't have to.